Okay, hello YouTubers. Now I'm going to show you the progress that I made on my uh, school project. It's a ARM Cortex M3 processor here and a QVGA LCD, a small speaker, a large speaker, uh, uh, IR receiver, and uh, you can choose which speaker to be used with, with this one. So you can actually move here also, so you can uh, plug in some headphones or something with an adapter. And uh, here you can choose if you want to use a small speaker with this the jumper here. We're going to use a large speaker. And like that. It uses an Apple remote. I don't know if you can hear the music, but we can uh, actually turn off the music and then push it to loudest. loudest. It is supposed to be Super Mario Bros. You can zoom in so you can see the display. Okay. And then we can push the menu button. And the music will stop playing. And we can choose tic-tac-toe, pong, tic-tac-toe, looks like this, it isn't functional yet, then game over, and then you have the pong. And there you have the game plan, so later on there will be uh, small brick for you and a brick for the computer and then a ball that will bounce between and hopefully bounce in the right, right angle from the walls and stuff like that and have a small beeping sound so it's going to be look really retro you can go back and here you have the main menu again I can show you how it is to reset it push here See, we get back to the start screen. A small sinus wave and the music. Can pump up the volume of the music also in steps. As you can see, it's an interrupt based sound player because if I push the button on the remote, it has to do some interrupts so it can't play music, check the remote and uh, uh, draw to the display simultaneously. It's almost simultaneously, but uh, because I don't have any schedule, uh, scheduler uh, implanted, it's just, it takes time whenever it gets time, and then it do, do the function that it the interrupts told to do. See here, okay. This is a smaller speaker, not as loud. And as earlier, the speaker is direct, directly driven by the ARM processor's digital to analog converter. And you need to have the buffer enabled then. So, thank you for this time, and thank you for watching. Bye.